It's the lovely question. What's your dream? What's your aspiration? What's your purpose for living? Is somebody excited that you were born? These are some of the questions you should ask yourself every day when you wake up. On tonight's episode of The Lovely Clare Show, we have two beautiful people with very beautiful hearts who believe that sharing their talents with others is what true fulfillment is about. Stay with us. <laughs> You're welcome back. On today's episode, our first guest is a fashion icon who is very willing to give back to the society by sharing her talents with teenagers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Vowel Omoko. I hope I am right, Vowel. Please sit down. <laughs> well, here you are. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Yes. I know. Tell me about the fashion world. The fashion industry, I think we're growing. It's a growing and very competitive industry, especially in Nigeria, because everybody's popping out on the fashion designer. So it's competitive, but it's growing, and we are developing in areas that I, th I felt we had been shortchanged short in Nigeria. But we still have our challenges. Number one challenge being power. And then we have fabric sourcing, and then we have the fabric sourcing. In yeah, Nigeria, yeah, Africa. yeah. Well, because we'll go as much as well, we have the Ankara and cord lace. And because what you're wearing is actually very beautiful. You made this, right? Yes, I like it. I like to have experiment, make experiments, pick a fabric, and just whatever the fabric may be, play just with play with it. So for a designer like me, I would say I'm limited because most of the times I have to go extra mile to get fabrics or maybe I have to order them in and stuff. But so that's, I think that's the other challenge that we have. And then for the ready-to-wear brand, sometimes our challenges has been sales, outlets, because the people who already have stores will tell you you have to pay a certain amount to before they can stock your clothes. Okay. You, you have to put all these things into cost. And because of that, a designer like me whose dream is to make clothes as affordable as possible for people, it becomes challenging because I'm tempted to add the price for the store yeah, to my clothes. Yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of challenges, but it's still a beautiful industry. I don't think I made a mistake quitting my job to do I fashion. Can imagine. So will you say the fashion industry and the music industry, they are alike? Well, it's... I sing. So I don't know how to answer that question. Oh, you sing? They are different in a way, but they are both creative. Mm, that's so it's... I want to sing a song, I have to go into the depths of me and bring a good mm -hmm, song out. Mm -hmm. I want to make a dress, mm -hmm. I have to go into the depths yeah. of me to bring a good dress out. So yeah, they're both creative. They work hand in hand because I think uh, music helps fashion designing, not the business itself, but the creative part of fashion designing to get inspiration yeah. and all of that. So yeah, music industry is on its own, but when it comes to working hand in hand with fashion awesome. designing, I think they, they go together, yeah, especially right. during runways. Mm -hmm. so I don't think any fashion show will be a fashion show without, without music. music. True. So I, it's, I, I think they are one family. If you, put, if you put them in that category, they are one family, but in the business, Okay, now with the kind of challenges you just talked about in the business, talking about your cost because you have to put your clothes in the shops and all of that, why do you still want to give? Because you're here because you want to give something to someone, to a child who is not opportune. Why do you still want to do this? Um. You know, when we chatted before now, I told you this project has been something I've been stalling. Be I, because of these challenges, I'm like, okay, I'm not ready yet. I don't have all the resources yet. But the fact that we have challenges and the fact that um, we don't have all the resources doesn't mean that someone's life is not wasting. doesn't change yeah, the fact yeah. that someone is being tempted to go into crime. doesn't change the fact that someone is still unemployed and hungry. I have 
cases of girls that are tempted every day, calling me, um, uh, see, is there anything you want? I can't pay for this. I can't pay for this. But there's this lady that said, if I follow her to, you know, and I have actually have one under my wings now. And she has bought two industrial sewing machines. And she's telling me she has to open her store. I'm seeing, I saw what it felt like to give all of me to one person. And I'm like, if I can multiply yeah. this person in 10 or mm -hmm. 20 people, then that person would go and multiply to another 10 or 20 people. And just like that, myself and every other person mm -hmm. I'm training is affecting, we are all affecting the lives of others. And then, and then you see, it's, it builds up. Yeah. So if we keep saying there are challenges, oh, the, the, co the, that, the economy is not something. going well. Oh, I, I, didn't sell out, I didn't sell all the other clothes. I probably should just wait till next year. There's one girl that's going to get pregnant by the end of that year. You can say and, that again. And then there's another guy who's going to go steal you by the end of that, that year. Again. So you why see? should I wait when I can save lives? Really, like you just said, we have to get our, our girls off the streets from prostituting. We have to get our, our boys off the internet, off, off the internet, game. and off the under, under, under the bridges where you yes, see all of we, them. Yes, we have to get them. But them. until we are able to empower them, we might not be able to. Even though I know that there are some who wouldn't want to, because there are some who who wants to make money like this. Mm. But I mean, for as many as are ready to do something, mm. we should be willing to do we something should. for them. And you know what's funny about the project? Is it doesn't just help the people. It helps the fashion industry. Okay. Because designers always complain, oh, we don't have um, workers. We don't have the force that we need. So practically, designers go out of Nigeria and they go to Kotonou, um, uh, we go to the Côte d'Ivoire yeah. and we, we get tailors from there and we pay for their rent and everything. Now imagine 50 designers go out of the country to get at least three tailors each, each and they pay for their rent and they pay them their salaries and they take care of their families. So imagine if they don't have to do that and they have to Put it employ back into, yeah. from he, we mm -hmm. Nigerians mm -hmm. employ us, and then we are doing the same job that the, that the, that the foreigners are doing for even a lesser price. Yeah. The fashion industry would, would profit because the designers will get the labor, the same effective labor mm -hmm. at a the more price, affordable yeah. price, and then we are helping to build Empowering, the economy yeah. because we keep saying the government, the government, the government. We the are the government. Exactly. It's not just the man up mm -hmm. there. So if I'm a fashion designer and I can get. 50 people from Nigeria employed, those 50 people have families. So I am feeding 50 families. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You see what I said? I just told you that she's a woman with a very beautiful heart. After the break, we're going to see the very beautiful thing she's about to do for us. Stay with us. What up, Africa? What up, Lagos? They call me VJ Adams, the king of talk. My name is Jimmy Agbaje. What's up, people? My name is Nosa. My name is Bruno. Watch out. Keep watching. Keep watching. You can inspire someone. You can be a blessing to someone. It's a show that is worth watching. Uh, you learn. It's about impacting on people's lives. Keep watching this show. The Lovely Claire Show. It's the Lovely Claire Show. Yo, welcome back. Right on set, we have Eniola and mascot Bamidele on set to be mentored by Vowell. So Vowell, these are your students. Wow. <laughs> and they want to do fashion. Enola, tell me why you want to do fashion. The reason why I want to be a fashion designer is because I have, I have the passion for it. And it's not only because of the passion. There was a time I don't like anything, fashion, design. I decided because of the stress, the challenges there. But later, I decided that I want to be a fashion designer so I can make clothes. We won't be importing clothes outside Nigeria and outside Africa. Beautiful reason. Beautiful reason. You want to be a fashion designer. Yeah, that is good. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, Mascot, the same question. Why fashion? The reason why I choose fashion was inspiration from my brother's wife, from our beaded box, the combination of the colors and all those crafts she normally makes. So I was inspired. So I started learning when I was in preschool, grade four. 
mm. and I was discouraged because of the stress and all that. And I was supported by my mom and my sister. So I want to say thank you to them for helping wow. me in the that fashion. That is good. That is good. Well, I'm surprised though. You know, the, both of them have mentioned stress. The first one said, ah, oh, the stress. And she hasn't even started. Exactly. And she's having stress. stress already. So what should I say? I should collapse me. <laughs> It's, it's a stressful business. It's creativity. It's you haven't even started facing stress. Mm. Talk about when you make clothes. And I had one very bad experience. I, I should have said that earlier. We had uh, a, a, a collection for last year, ready to wear, and we bought the materials. We tested the materials quite alright. Then we brought them here. And do you know, after making all the clothes for sale, all the materials ran. Oh no, I mean the, bad so business. You couldn't, we couldn't sell any of them. Oh, no. Now imagine, what should I do? Because it's all my money inside, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you wake up in the morning, you cry, and you clean your eye, and you go back, and so you start afresh. Mm. And so it's, it's, it's bad publicity because anybody who bought that dress mm -hmm. will say your material is washing, bad, shit. Yeah. then you now go and beg, then you now go and refund the money, exactly. right? Exactly. And you come back and your workers will be telling you salary has come. Mm -hmm. You guys, if you want to do fashion designing, it's not moi moi and akara. Hmm. It's big work. work. It's not moi moi and akara. So are you ready for this big work? Yes, yes. You, are you sure you're ready? See, because I don't want us to start something we won't finish. So if you're truly ready for this, we're going to run it all the way to the end. But if it's something you start and suddenly tell me that, I thought I, I, thought I liked fashion, but all of a sudden I think the I can't stand the disappear from my disa head. It can't disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Except maybe you just want to be a tailor. But if you, because there's a difference. Yeah. I, I need to also state that. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between a seamstress and a fashion designer. A fashion designer is a person that creates the style, yeah. makes it. The tailor is the one that replicates the style. So if you want to be a tailor, you don't so have to So what do you want to be, tailor or fashion designer? There's nothing wrong in being a tailor. There's nothing wrong There's in nothing being a tailor. They're they actually so what do well you want paid. To be a tailor or so fashion designer? Both. Fashion designer. Both. Both, both, you see. You know, he made this. Can you stand up, mascot? Let's see this. Yay! Yeah. He made this too. He's creative. Yeah. The first thing I noticed were the patches. Mm. I noticed he, he shredded it himself. Yeah. Uh, so. It's good. creativity. I like and that's for you to make something like this for me. Look out for. Mm. It's very nice. I'm serious. I like what you So you guys like got this. a warm up. Then there's a big difference between a fashion designer and a fashion stylist. A stylist can make one dress look different in five ways. Mm -hmm. A fashion designer doesn't have a business with that. The fashion designer has designed the dress. He has given it that's to you. Business. The fashion stylist will now turn that dress to a skirt, to a jacket, to everything. That is the job of a professional fashion stylist. So I train fashion designers, I train tailors, and I also train fashion stylists. Wow, interesting. So Vo, I'd like to say thank you to you. Thank and you. before we just wrap this up, how many spaces are you giving to us? Though we have two here, we always have no, I, I, I don't want to limit do the spaces I'm giving. Okay. But as long as my own criteria is the person should be passionate about fashion the person should be very humble and willing to learn that's my own criteria thank you so. thank you so much thank you so very much so you've heard it all it's been very inspiring very interesting if you want to do fashion you're passionate your heart is in it it's what your heart beats for every day call us go on our website fill our forms and then we'll put it together and of course once you qualify according to our criteria which has just mentioned we're going to send you to voil and when the time comes when they are going to run through this fashion class and then you you will be invited so if you're watching us from any any, any part any part of nigeria any part of africa and you know you can make it to lagos and be like for how how long will it run six months like six months you know you can give six months of your time to learn this you're welcome and of course for students because you'll be wondering but i go to school during the holiday is it's it? actually saturday classes and then okay, they so have to intern during the week so if you can't intern during the week you, you can do, just do the classes mm -hmm. on saturday fantastic so it's, it's convenient for everyone yeah. so thank you for being with me all the way and thank you my beautiful audience i love you i appreciate you very much thank you very much and then, Bowa, thank you for this thank beautiful you. opportunity. Thank you. For and Mascot, don't forget you owe me this, right? Yes. And please open up your heart. Don't change your mind later that you don't want to do fashion because of the challenges. <laughs> so before you leave here, we have a certificate of participation to give to you to say thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate you very, 
very much. So don't go away. We'll be right back to meet our next guest. It's the love is all we need. Welcome back. And here with us, we have Success Ezeani, a.k.a. R4C. Welcome on the show. Nice to have you. Please sit down. <laughs> so, Mr. Ezeani, tell me about R4C. What is R4C and what is that um, show about? Okay, um, my name is R4C. I make people laugh for a living. Single, seriously searching. <laughs> In case you hear my voice, you love me, come and meet my father and pay my good price. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so tell me about the R4C talent okay. show. Okay, um, R4C ability show is okay. a talent empowerment show for the fiscally challenged. Like I always say, in every fiscal disability lies a great ability. Mm -hmm. For example, um, this shoe I'm wearing is made by a deaf and dumb. So if a deaf and dumb can do this, then and they are very talented, they can do everything. And one thing with them, whatever they do, they do it perfectly well. You understand? They do it perfectly well. So the show is about first changing their mindset from asking for handouts, let them believe in their ability that they can do it. That for the fact their physical challenge doesn't make them mentally disabled, that they have the strength in them. Mm. So making them forced to believe in themselves, then I would go out of the way to empower them with academic scholarship, mm. jobs, I tell people that physically challenged people can work also. Let's say, for example, if you're looking for a secretary or a PA, somebody that will sit, maybe somebody on which you will fit best to that job. Sure. Then uh, company like um, Nigerian Brailways, all those that are doing production, somebody that is uh, short-sighted or blind can test your product to tell you this one is better than this one. So they can fit in, in all kinds of white collar jobs also. Yeah. They will also um, help them get training also. Then I can yeah, you see, that's a very um, um, beautiful idea you just, you just shared with us now. A physically challenged person can be a secretary. Yeah. A physically challenged person can work in a brewery mm -hmm. where they can test drinks and mm -hmm. tell us, and even in drugs, pharmaceutical. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so instead of all just thinking that these people cannot do anything, okay. I, I don't think that they're even best for, for such yeah, positions they are best for in such industries. Jobs. Uh, you look at somebody, uh, how will I put it down? Um, maybe you're uh, working in a site work, somebody that will edit and audit everything in detail. Because they are there, they won't move. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So somebody that feels scheduling fits more to that job. Also. So employers of labor, please, I uh, so guess you've heard this and you, then you the think other, on this. You might not be seen, but for the fact that you're not seen physically, that doesn't, doesn't mean, mean you that you can't, can't see far. Yeah. Like I said, I give them kobams. People call it, we comedian, we, we used to say kobams is not blind, a costume. How can a person wear blind marry most beautiful woman on earth? They drive car, build his own house. They make money every day. There is an ability. It's in disability. And the fact is, God did not make anybody disabled or with a disability. God created everyone with an ability to be able to do something for themselves. After a quick break, we're going to meet with one of some of the special guests. Stay with us. It's the love It's the love you're welcome back. Indeed, there is an ability in disability. My special guests right now are Michael and Okweyemi. They are from uh, the special school. Michael is, is, a blind, is, is blind, right? Were you born blind, Michael? Not at all. At what point of your life did this happen? Did you go blind? Um, it happened after I finished my secondary school. I was around 1999. Okay. You know, as a young guy, I went to play football and I discovered I wasn't seeing clearly. You know, I thought it was a joke initially, but as time goes on, I find myself being blind. You just realized you couldn't see anymore? Yeah. 
and they couldn't um, they couldn't help you medically uh, well we went to different hospitals them for different tests but you know don't just know what went wrong and nothing was done uh, I actually take some medication but nothing happened wow okay so after the, uh, that what happened you had to stop schooling um for for some time i sp stopped schooling but uh later i i got to know that as a blind person i can actually still go to school and achieve my aim in life i like that But as a blind person, you can still act, you can go to school and still achieve your aim in life. Yeah, I study music as a profession in Peter King College of Music. Hmm. I have my higher I have diploma in music. Then after I, the school where I learned how to write in Braille, I I learned craft works there. Okay. So, and through that I'm. So it's what I even use, you know, to sponsor myself in school then. Oh. Through the craft I learned. There. So okay, that's where you learned how to make bags. Yes, bags, palm, and different beads. You made the you made the flowers? Yeah, I made the flowers. Those beautiful flowers. Yes. Was made by a man, anyone will say he has a disability. This is fantastic, is it? It's very nice. Wow, this is nice. Okay, Akwayemi, tell me about, about you. What, what happened? Were you born crippled? No. You were not? No. What happened? At what point did, you, did this happen? At the age of 10 years old. He did what? At the age of 10 years old. At the age of 10 was when it happened? Yes. Okay, so did you, were you in school at the time? Mm. Yes, you were. Yes, I finished plan six. Okay. So, is that... Particularly that we finished primary and came back home. Oh, the day you finished your, your primary, primary school. school, you wrote your last e examination in primary school. You got home, you slept, you woke up, and that was it. You didn't work till now. Okay, now you, you do fashion. Okay, and these are the, you, you made this. Yes, we now with Can you see this? So you make both for children and adults, yes. men and women. How long did it take you to learn fashion? Two years. Two years. And you paid to learn it? Yes. It wasn't free. Somebody on wheelchair had to pay to learn how to sew clothes. And we have teenagers that were giving that to them for free of charge. So if you want to help someone, if you want to be an encouragement to someone, you want to be an inspiration to someone, this is the show to come to. This is the program to come to. Because we've got children, we've got teenagers, we've got old people, we've got orphans, we've got all kinds of people calling us from every part of Nigeria to help them. So if you can help anybody, this is the platform you can showcase that talent. So now I'm going to ask you, Mr. Success Ezeni, what is the difference between you and that man who take advantage of this physically challenged people, set them up to beg money, and you bring it, they share it as a percentage. I, I, so I, what is the difference between those people and you? Why should somebody trust you that you're doing this genuinely? Okay, first and foremost, things I do, like you can ask them, anything that comes to them goes direct to them. I help them market these bags. The ones I've sold to them, I balance it. I send them the money. You understand? Mm. Even the necklace. I never knew like I could do that. Yeah. You made the son. She won. You she... made the son. This yeah. is very lovely. I love this one. So, like this, how much would this go for? Okay, I'm going to buy this one. Is that fine? I'm going to buy this one straight away. Thank you. This cannot be for two thousand. It's not possible. No, it's not two thousand. It's not two thousand. It goes for. She made a mistake. It goes for five thousand naira. Five thousand naira, and it's very lovely. I want this one. I want this one. Right? Beautiful things you guys are doing, and you're just an angel. 
you're just an angel. <laughs> because for you to take up this kind of challenge, you don't get anything from, no. does he get anything from you guys? No. Do you people pay him monthly? No. No. Do you people give him anything? No. When no. he takes you guys out for exhibition, do you pay him anything? No, no not at all. These are the kind of people we're talking about, and we've got lots of them in the society. And of course, if anybody wants to partner with you, work with you on this project, how can they, what can they do? Okay, to be like a part I, of it? Uh, what we are looking at, like she, she needs to go back to school. We need academic scholarship, job offers, training. Um, he needs to take off grants to buy this material at a cheaper rate, or even a soft loan, maybe like one single digit loan that she can buy. He can buy this in bulk and you know. So because this now he sells it for three five thousand, he doesn't make game. Because it's even like three four days since we are here, he just this man is doing. Uh -huh. So we need a soft loan, take off grant. Um, some of them are using entertainment, endorsement contracts, record deals, and even some other gift items, wheelchair, cars, a lot. Whatever you are going to give, you give it to them direct. It goes to direct as it goes straight to them. It's not like you ask me. It's not like a show. I'm a comedian. I can make more money for myself yeah, instead true. of doing this. I spend. I know how, many, how much I spend yearly. No, this is this is this is organizing this. This shows. is God inspired. Yeah. It's not from head. If it's from head, I'm sure you'll have given up. And of course, as we wrap up, we have one other special guest who is going to give us a special dance, a special number, a special dance, dance. a special presentation. So we'll see you next time. And remember that life is what you make it as much as you can. Make the best out of it. Make somebody's life count. See you next time. Bye for now. It's the It's the lovely